Do you enjoy the crazy nights like this? This is the best nights. This, this of all the awards, this is the one that's the most fun. It's fun. Is it really? Yeah, yeah. because you get to see the people and meet the people who yeah. watch TV. And the, the after party is legendary. Yes, so I believe. I haven't... I've only been here twice. Once I didn't get the day at the party, and the second time I can't remember. <laughs> <laughs> now the uh, the uh, Christmas episode did extremely well for you. I think it was the biggest, most watched program on the day, wasn't it? Oh, yeah. yeah. Congratulations. Where do you take Mrs. Brown's boys from here? The movie. The movie. The movie. The movie comes out on the 28th of June. Right. And it's uh, we're shot. We're done. Uh, we're very pleased with it. It's had its first test screening, right? And it's scored a ten out of ten. And uh, we 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 think we've then. Yeah, you're a little bit too late for the Oscars. Oh, listen, I, I couldn't year. go for the Oscars <laughs> this year. Yeah, this year. This what, year. Yeah. What can you tell us about the plot? Anything? Well, it's it's uh, it's a fairly simple plot. Mrs. Brown, there's a group of developers, politicians, and and uh, bankers that are trying to close down this very old Market Street in Dublin, and. Um, they're closing the stalls down one by one. They're doing little tricks. And then they pick out a card and go, well, this one should be no problem. It's a widow. And they've just taken on Mrs. Brown. Right. right. And they've taken off a bit more than they could chew. <laughs> right. I can only imagine how that finishes up. It finishes up great. Yeah. Happy ending. I only do happy endings. Now, what does it say about um, television these days? An old style show like Mrs. Brown Boys does so well. I think there's a constant in TV. I, I think there's a, there's a certain amount of constants. I think the great thing about TV is that TV is always open to something new. And that's great, and it should be. But there's constants. The talk show is a constant. There'll always be talk shows. Um, different, different presenters, different this, different that, but there'll always... And I think the style of comedy that Mrs. Brown is, that kind of sitcom comedy, Dad's Army, um, a little bit on the Fozzie Towers end, there'll always be a market for that. And I think... What it shows is that regardless of what's up, what's down, what's in, what's out, there'll always be a constant in, in TV, which is great. Classic, classic sitcoms are always going to be watched. Classic sitcom, and, and it, we, we see it being mentioned in the same breath. One of the things that people thought they were criticising about the show was when they said it was very 70s. And I went, no, 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 that's what we were trying to do. <laughs> that's, what we like. that's what we were trying to do. That's yeah. what we like. Yeah, yeah. So, uh, it's, it's been a hit, and it's been a great hit. How, is he, how easy is it for you to put together, to write and, and, to, and to produce? It breaks my balls. <laughs> it's the hardest work I've ever done in my life. Yeah. I'm not going to lie to you, it's so hard. When it gets the time to performing, that's so easy. The writing and, and, and the keeping together is hard. And, and you just think you're out of the woods and you have another episode, another episode, another episode. Yeah, yeah, it's tough. Yeah, yeah. But so, I love it. Yeah, yeah. It's not as tough as delivering coal or digging roads or anything like that. And I know I'm very privileged to have the life I have. We get to play dress up for a living.